Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted a video about two new features that Microsoft is busy testing in Edge Canary that could possibly roll out to an up and coming stable version in the future. Now, I'll leave a link to that video down below if you want more info, but just a quick recap on one of those new features that I did mention in that previous video, which is a new drop down menu. Now, just to cut to the chase, um, just to do a quick recap, this is a screenshot and GIF provided by Leo over on X where Microsoft uh, is testing this new drop-down menu that will be found next to the new tab button in the title bar, as we can see, which is this little up -down, upside-down chevron. And it lets you create a new tab group or access the history page and a couple of other options and settings. And this could possibly be rolling out to an up-and-coming stable version and is now being tested in Edge Canary. Now, in regards to this new drop-down menu, and moving on to today's video, it seems that um, Microsoft is really wanting us to be able to use uh, the new Bing chat uh, in the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop because already in the desktop browser, we have the Bing chat button and icon in the sidebar. In some stable versions and also in the Edge Canary browser, we have the Bing chat, which we can launch Bing chat from the search bar. And now if we head over to a updated screenshot and GIF provided by Leo over on X, yeah, we can see that now in that drop down menu, uh, the Bing chat button is also now appearing in that new drop down menu uh, in the tab strip. And this is just a version of that using the vertical tabs, but the same principle applies. So there we can see that we have now a third option available when it comes to so-called front-facing features where Microsoft is now adding the Bing chat button. So there are a couple of options available. So it really seems that Microsoft is pushing the Bing chat in the desktop browser where um, they are now making another option available in that drop-down menu, which is part of that tab strip and that up upside-down chevron, as we can see in the screenshot provided. So I thought that was interesting. And as mentioned, um, these options are being tested in Edge Canary version 118, which is now the latest preview version. And like most of these new features, they do make their way uh, into the preview versions. I will keep my eye on this. And if anything does change, obviously, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.